way we should hope. That's that. But like I say, if we need to, we can just put it up. Flip the table over. We've got some options. Are you ready to tow a tiny house? I'm so ready. got to the tiny house we had a series of mini missions that day the first one was moving my 24 sheets of plywood from the tiny house's original spot dropping half off with a local farmer who'd bought them off me and then taking the rest to the tiny house to be transported down south our next mission was to go to the local builder's merchant where we got a ton of ballast. This was so that Kermit, the towing vehicle, would outweigh the tiny house. So before we could hook the tiny house onto the back of Kermit, we had to get it out from its current location. Since moving it there a year and a half ago, two small trailers have appeared in front of it. One of these is a little worse for wear, so Max had to winch the tiny house out a little bit, winch one of the other trailers out the way, and then tow the tiny house all the way out so we could then hook it on Kermit. Very big now, doesn't it? Oh. 
the view that you haven't seen before. Did, it, did you get it out alright? Yeah, we winched it out. What's it going like now? Is so it, far, so good. Right? We'll see if we get to stop the sled gates, but... That's what Lando was in, so... <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> Once the Dana house was on the road, our next mission was to leave the village. However, this was going to involve a long steep hill climb of 25%. Not ideal for the first test drive, but there was no way around it. Our plan was, once we'd cleared the hill, we would find a lay-by, check the tyres, drill the new stabiliser brackets onto the tiny, check the load, and then hit the road. It was a steady ascent, and one which we felt was going okay, and it wasn't until this local pulled up alongside us and told us we'd lost a wheel. As we were climbing such a steep hill, we couldn't just stop, so we pulled in at the next car park. By this point, steam was starting to billow out of Kermit's bonnet, and we stopped just in time, as the engine would have seized, which would have been game over for Kermit. Good. Not looking good, is it? We lost the wheel. Why? 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 So we, we lost the wheel, so it's just dragging up dead weight basically. <laughs> I don't. Engineering it, it's fast. Steady, you. You need, you need a big fatty stood on him. 
The new mission was to now lift the tiny house up, get the jack beneath it, replace the wheel with the new one and set sail once again. The coordinates unfortunately had been loose and the wheel itself was damaged. Luckily we had a spare though. With the help of my friends we were able to fit the jack beneath the tiny, lift it up yeah. and replace the wheel. Stand on me foot, it's all right. <laughs> we're in, we're in. You're in, we're in. We're in. Where there is a will, there is a will. Brilliant. Yeah, I think we did. Were you watching this? No, we couldn't get out quick enough. Fell but, out, but me and me and Kai were so excited, we we're just like, she's gone, she's gone. It's gone. Because we said it's going to be on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got past the corner, right? Like, what? And then we kept coming up here and we're like, oh my god, and I was hoofing it up here trying to catch her. Mm. And I was going to catch her and catch you on the road and just give you a beat, mm. but uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's something. It is on that stack we're yeah. doing. But when, you won't know you've got it on the back once you get on the flat. Yeah. But there was plenty of power, there was never oh, wow. a, ne good. yeah, and plenty of traction, that was the whole idea of loading the back right up. Because yeah. I've had it before towing big things up big hills with the wheels slipping, uh -huh. that's, that's when you start to... I wondered if that would happen, I wondered if yeah. it would. No, I did it with a transit van, I was telling Katie, I did it with a transit van where the trailer was so badly laden it was lifting the rear axle of the transit so it's slipping. <laughs> this is why I'm not worried because you had that many noise. every... And by that point, there was about 10 cars behind me, so if, oh, no. if it goes, I can't hold, hold it on the handbrake, so if it starts rolling back, you know, it's going to get expensive. <laughs> Jesus. Let's rank it. Yeah. It wasn't boiling until this cap gave up and we immediately pulled in. But yeah, a few more seconds with a diesel engine, it's, it's usually game over. Was it? So the engine wasn't faltering though, it wasn't? It no, was no, the engine was, was absolutely fine, it was just, yeah, just overheated. Wow. Yeah, which I've, I've never even managed to move the, um, the temperature gauge before. It just started climbing. I put the, this big engine fan here, I put that on, and it just carried on climbing. And it just didn't stop. Have you got some proper coolant to put in? Um, yeah, but we need that until we get back. Let's find on water for for this journey.
once we'd cleared the hill, we set about the final remaining tasks. Max installed the stabilizers on the tiny to assist with the towing. I pumped more air into Kermit's wheels and we added lights to the tiny house's rear. It was 5 p.m. when we hit the road. We were on schedule. The plan was to drive throughout the night. Thank you to the local called Brian who helped Max reverse. How far are we, Max? We're over a hundred miles, Katie, which Ooh. is a third. <laughs> but, Yay! But That's not way, bad. It's a long way, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> been happening. That's good. It's very good. How are you doing? I'm loving it, Katie. <laughs> I'm thinking when we get to mine, should we just go back to Boggle and do it again? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a lap. <laughs> oh, the good old days.
Well, do we? Yeah, if you think. Well, they'll be. Damn it. Well, then, fair it. And then we'll have to the beginning. We've settled into it, didn't we? <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, Katie. Bedtime. I need to lie down. Oh, shit. Is that the hardest mission you've ever done? Um, it's one of the toughest intentional ones. I've done harder mm -hmm. ones that didn't that I didn't mean to be quite so hard. Fortunately, we got all the drama out of the way early on, and then it was just a long slog. So to begin with, I thought, oh, we, we've not planned well. Mm. But it's only one little mess up. Turned out we planned all right, yeah. Slightly overbalanced with Paul Kermit. But we got it done, didn't slide about, mm. which is nice. And somehow, Katie, I've delivered your thing here. Your house? My house. We could be neighbours. They're not far off the same height. <laughs> <laughs> not a barn conversion. I built a barn and converted it. And it still looks small compared to yours. <laughs> 